Bay, Colorado. We all know at least one dog who's an escape artist. You know, you've been there before. You leave them in the backyard. Before you know it, Animal Control is on the phone waiting for you to post bail. But there is a science to dog-proofing your yard to stop those canine Houdinis from getting out. Dan? Listen, when a dog is happy and safe and content, he's a safe and happy dog, just like these two. What's not good for a dog is when they escape the backyard. As a matter of fact, that's the number one injury for dogs is they, they are hit by cars. Why? That's because they got out. So, Elizabeth Bublitz, you're an expert in this area. Who do you represent? Uh, Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. Oh, very nice. And listen, we got a couple items right here. We have three items that uh, have been designed to keep dogs in the backyard, which is key. Let's start with this one right here. This looks like a, a this looks like a comb for Godzilla, <laughs> but it's not a comb. What is it? No, it's not. It's called Dig Defense. Dig Defense? Dig Defense. Is that the latest, uh, newest rap group out there? Okay, what, what, what does this do? So what you do is if your dog's digging under a fence, you just... Put this down. Or like this, right, right yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Along the fence, along a structure, if they're digging around a shed. And you kind of you nail it down? Yeah, you can just pound it in. You pound it in, and then they can't dig through it. Well, that I makes sense, because a, a lot of dogs like to dig. I, All right, so that's number one. Now, here's number two. We got some chick. Wait. Well, yeah, we're talking about dogs, not chickens. Buk, buk, buk. What's up with the chicken wire? <laughs> well, this prevents dogs. Where'd she, she, she go? Okay, here you go. I'm what? sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to demonstrate. <laughs> so we just put that down yes. where they're digging. Uh -huh. Secure the side so oh, they okay. can't, yeah, because that's really sharp. Yeah. So you could do uh, this duct tape or yeah. landscape fabric. So you put this down, and, and they, they, can't they don't want to dig through that. Mm -mm. They can't take it. No, they can't. All right, I like it's a good idea as well. Now, what do you have over here? This is for so This is coyote roller. Coyote roller. Isn't that cruel? We don't want to roll any coyotes, do we? No. All right, how does that work? What does it work? So it keeps coyotes out and keeps doggies in. Well, so as they jump up, they can't jump over. <laughs> so this is uh, this is supposed to be uh, like a six foot fence. Yeah, five to six foot. And this is like a roller on top. Yeah, comes when in different colors. When a dog jumps on that, whee! They just, can't escape. Just like me, me, go, Coyote Roadrunner Hour, something like that. Is this is this expensive? Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, the end result's awesome. <laughs> Your be, dog won't get out. This would be good keeping the kids in the backyard, too. Where can people get this information? And I know, where can people reach you for your services? Um, ALC, uh, Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. Uh -huh. And I do Paw Friendly Landscapes. All right, very nice. Coming up next hour, we're going to show this backyard that's been done up doggy style. And uh, <laughs> I think I'm done talking. <laughs> Back to you guys. Oh, I'm... <laughs> So glad he was done talking at that point. It makes good sense, though, that you can lay some of those barriers down and, and get your oh, backyard yeah. handled. Absolutely. You Especially for those dogs who love digging. You know, they're just playing, so you don't want them to. And a smart idea, too, to put the duct tape on the edge of that chicken wire. True. Because they can get hurt there. you got to let your dogs out on days like this, right, Jen? Yes. It's, it's too nice for them not to be outside. I cannot wait to take mine to the dog park and let them go run around a little bit today.